peeps. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is my first build for 2021, so here we go. Uh, this video today is going to be a quick video on, it's literally just how to do a retention plate. You wouldn't believe how many times I'm asked how to do a retention plate, so I'm just going to show you the four steps to do a retention plate, if there's even four steps. So I have my prep gun. You want to do your, your retention plate after it's prepped because everything that you have on it could, you know, cause a, a difference in the plate. So I have my cut up piece of quarter inch MDF. Uh, the reason why I like using MDF is because if you use uh, particle board, I thought I had some around here. If you use particle board after a while of heating and pressing, heating and pressing and taking the tape off, what it does is it pulls the particle board apart. So you definitely don't want that. So all this is uh, medium density fiber board. It's just a lot of small particles pressed together, the same things, um, but doesn't do it. So what we're gonna do is get yourself a thin pointed Sharpie marker, get your uh, your mold all set to go, and you're gonna need a big enough working space to use the piece of wood and the firearm. So uh, this is how we do it, and I'll show you. All right, so you're gonna lay the firearm or whatever you're molding on the wood itself. Try to find the best place to utilize as, as many uh, retention plates as you can. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the sight channel, line it up flush with the top, and you can go ahead and trace it. Doesn't have to be exact, but the closer you get, the better it is. So there's that. And then we're gonna come down a little, because I like to go past the trigger guard. And then we're gonna go in front of the muzzle. However big you wanna do it, it's fine, but do it at least one inch away from it, so you have plenty of uh, room for the foam to work. Um, after I do this, this is a SIG P320 full size. And I'll show you the next step. Real simple, real easy. Just get on your scroll saw. All right, so plate, bam, and fit. And we're gonna have tape holding it here, tape holding it here, tape right there, and that is literally, that's literally it. It's as easy as that to do a retention plate. And again, it's quarter inch MDF, and I buy uh, two foot by four foot sheets at my local Home Depot. Happy bending.